Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I'm Brian Roach of WGAL News 8 and a member, more importantly, of Tenfold's Board of Directors. It is my extreme pleasure tonight to serve as your MC for this evening's event. We are so glad that you're here with us to celebrate Tabor Community Services and Lancaster Housing Opportunity Partnership as they join forces under a brand new name, Tenfold. This event would not be possible without our generous headlining sponsors, Ada Media and Blue Ridge Cable, who remain committed to supporting Tenfold as they come together to multiply their impact in the community here. We also want to give a special shout out to our honorary chairs, V, Ronald, and D. Smith. Ron and D are longtime supporters of our organization. They have and continue to be our biggest champions out there. Ron and D, we cannot thank you enough for your ongoing generosity, and we appreciate you sharing our excitement for this next step on our tenfold journey. Now, if you'd like to join Ron and Dee in supporting Tenfold, you can give at any time throughout tonight's program. Let me emphasize that again, any time throughout tonight's program. You can do that by participating in our silent auction and making a donation to support the individuals and the families who benefit from Tenfold's vital programs and services. For quick access, you can refer to the details in the event chat that'll pop up throughout the program this evening. Now, joining me tonight, I'm really happy to have these two folks here, are two impactful leaders who help pave the way for Tenfold. It is my pleasure to introduce Mike McKenna, the Chief Executive Officer of Tenfold, and Shelby Nauman, the Chief Impact Officer of Tenfold. Mike and Shelby, welcome. The stage is yours. Thanks so much, Brian. It's an exciting time. We're so thankful to everyone joining us to celebrate this important milestone on our Tenfold journey. We're grateful for your support as we work together to spark the power in all people to achieve equitable housing and financial security. We look forward to sharing more of our story in tonight's celebration. Thanks, Mike, and a warm welcome to everyone who is celebrating with us. This is such a proud moment, and I'm so grateful we get to share this together. We're so appreciative for our board members, staff, key community partners, and supporters who have helped us get to this point. Together, we're able to multiply, multiply our impact tenfold in the community and unlock opportunities for individuals and families throughout South Central Pennsylvania. Mike and Shelby, I want to go a little bit off script here and thank both of you for your tremendous work throughout the past year. You're, you've been an inspiration to us all as we've gotten through this. In fact, our board co-chairs, uh, Jill Laskowitz and Rick Jackson, have recorded a special message on behalf of our board to reflect on this experience. Take a listen. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jill Laskowitz. And I'm Rick Jackson. And Rick and I had the pleasure of getting to know each other a couple years ago when I was chair of Tabor Community Services and Rick was chair of LHOP's board. And we, along with many people in the organization, felt that our two groups could join together and have a greater impact on our clients and on our community if we joined forces. And I think that was a really terrific period of exploration of, of our two organizations. You know, when you consider that Tabor was a, a faith-founded organization and LHOP, on the other hand, was a little more uh, secular or governmental related, that we both shared a heart and a mission and, and tools for housing equity and equality were some of the, some of the foundational pieces that really showed us that, you know, we were, we were in for a good thing here when we, when we merged and became tenfold. Where we are right now, I think, is both feeling a lot of gratitude, the gratitude that we are finally joined together. We're extremely grateful for the outstanding staff that our organization has and our volunteers. We're grateful for all of you, our supporters, who help make our work possible. And we're grateful for the key partners that we have in our community, all the support that we've received. And we're grateful for our clients who trust us and to help them. And just to, to kind of amplify or echo, you know, a huge shout out to our to our staff who, you know, daily, you know, we're in the trenches and finding a way forward side by side with our clients. And also, when you think about it, you overlay COVID with, you know, a year that has seen just kind of unprecedented upheaval in our country. You know, I, I, again, I hearken back to the, the common foundation that our organizations have in housing equity. Recently, uh, at, a, at one of our board meetings, uh, Mike McKenna, you know, read a mission moment uh, that, that was repeating the words, reading directly from uh, the handbook that, that Grace Wenger put together when she envisioned what Tabor could become. 
and the issues that she was dealing with at a family level, very much like I do as, as a father and grandfather, you know, was, was really fascinating. Not only the, the words that, that she said, you know, 50 some years ago, 60 years, years ago, it, we're now still <laughs> prescient today. There are things that we're still dealing with. So again, we, we, we believe that the affiliation of our organizations you know, really, really helps us to, to look at, at housing insecurity, to financial well-being, but also we have a role in, in housing equity and equality, which we believe is really important at this time. Thank you for your commitment to our community and for joining us this evening. Yes, and together with, with your help and, and uh, your involvement, please understand that we're just at the beginning. What we look forward to in the years to come, it's really exciting. We really appreciate your support to help us reach those goals. Thank you so much. And Jill and Rick, thank you very much for those words of encouragement on behalf of the Tenfold Board of Directors. As Rick mentioned in his comments, this is only the beginning of our journey. And we know that this is the start of a new season in which our impact will grow over time. To tie in with this theme, Prima Theater has been gracious enough to provide us with some entertainment this evening. Here's a special presentation now of All Things in Time.
Wow. Thank you to Prima Theater for that beautiful rendition of All Things in Time. This song is a perfect reflection of our new beginning, a time when we are entering a new season and growing together to multiply our impact for many years to come. Welcome to our friends of Tenfold. It is an honor to be here this evening to celebrate with all of you. It almost feels like a wedding. The union of these two special organizations creating something new and greater together. To understand where we're headed, it helps to look back at how we started. Because our why, our reason for being, has never wavered in the combined 80 years our organizations have existed. Our why has been to spark the power in all people to achieve equitable housing and financial security. Our work has been fed by a deep-rooted belief that everyone deserves a place to call home. In 1967, Grace Wenger, a quiet, unassuming, yet courageous professor of English and a devout Mennonite, wrote a piece called No Room in Lancaster, decrying what she saw as the habitual pattern of her fellow white Christians refusing to welcome black or brown folks into their neighborhoods, into apartments they were renting or homes they were selling. She experienced it herself, advocating for individual families. But it was a pattern that had been documented across the community. And she said, this isn't good enough. If our faith calls us to create peace, then we must do something about poverty and racism. That call to action inspired other leaders to join Grace, to create an organization, Tabor, that could both create more housing and offer people the skills and knowledge to be successful as renters or homeowners. Similarly, in 1994, community leaders again responded to a call, this time a report showing the supply of affordable housing was inadequate for the community's needs. That group created what became Lancaster Housing Opportunity Partnership, an organization with a mandate to bring partners together to design financing and policy solutions to make more affordable housing a reality for all. Two organizations responding to the facts on the ground, both rooted in strong values. Tenfold continues that tradition. Today, we continue to unlock opportunity, in many cases literally unlocking the door to the next chapter of someone's housing or financial future, regardless of their race or ethnicity, their ability or their disability, or their income level. So what does Tenfold's approach look like? It looks like treating someone with dignity who lives on the streets or is returning from prison, then helping them transition into safe, welcoming shelter like TLC or Beth Shalom, then soon after that, helping that person find an apartment of their own, perhaps with a landlord who recently attended our landlord forum. It may mean transitioning from years of renting to becoming the owner of your first home guided by our certified financial empowerment specialists and loan officers. And when you're already in that home, building you up to weather life's financial ups and downs so that the threat of eviction or foreclosure doesn't mean the loss of your home, just a challenging chapter you can overcome. And if you're lucky enough to live in SOWE, it's about a neighborhood that takes care of its own. We offer a continuum of services from homelessness to affordable rental housing to home ownership and the creation of new housing units through our lending arm. All of this is what sets us apart. How do we do it? We are coaches sitting down from a place of respect, offering a supportive word or a guiding hand to get people to achieve their own dreams. We offer cheerleading or tough love when needed, looking at the problem from a different vantage point always recognizing that everyone we serve deserves to be treated with dignity. When I first started at Tabor, a friend came up to me and she told me that after her mother passed, she found herself struggling financially and otherwise. Facing foreclosure, she was ready to give up on owning a home. But her financial empowerment specialist said, no way, you can do this. Let's fill out this form. She gave her the tough love she needed. My friend has since sold that home, bought another, and started a business. We are educators. Every single week of the year, there are workshops offered related to home ownership, budgeting, savings, improving credit, navigating the landlord-tenant relationship. 
You'll hear more about how that education sparks dreams and build confidence in a story from one of our team members who is also a former client later this evening. We are lenders. Our closing cost down payment assistance program is a game changer for first time home buyers. And our lending to both for profit and not for profit developers to include affordable units in housing developments across central Pennsylvania is both helping to grow the supply and combating the risk of rising prices. We are advocates. Right now in most zip codes in Lancaster County, it takes an income of about $19 an hour to afford a two bedroom apartment, but the median renter wage is about $14 an hour. That means that that renter needs to work more hours to keep up with the rent, and that means even more time away from family. A property manager told me recently his vacancy rate the past few months has been 0.5 units, meaning half the time he has no units available and half the time there's only a single unit. HUD reports that the vacancy rate is less than 1% for homes for sale. A recent LNP headline captured the market well. Few homes, quick sales, steep prices. Solving these related challenges is going to require all of us to care about policies, whether that's zoning in the township you live in or laws in Harrisburg or DC that make it harder to build affordable housing. It's also about mobilizing people. Just like the neighbors in SOWE have done so much to improve the quality of life for everyone in their neighborhood, working together to build up their schools, their housing stock, and most importantly, their connections to one another. We can change the trajectory of housing in our community, and it will truly take all of us, just like it says in our tenfold mission statement. Partnership is the foundation of that work. We are blessed to have partners in fellow nonprofits, innovators in government, and creative, generous donors like all of you who make this work possible. We've come a long way through a hard year because we've leaned on each other. Here's just one example. In the face of record rent arrears, thousands of households were at risk of eviction, turned towards the Eviction Prevention Network a coalition originally started before COVID by LHOP, Tabor, CAP, Good Samaritan Services, and the Factory Ministries. It now includes more than 20 partners across the county. In a moment, please join me in watching a video highlighting the extraordinary commitment the Eviction Prevention Network partners have shown to keep people in their homes during this deadly pandemic. If we follow the lessons of that partnership, if we reconnect with the vision of Grace Wanger, who powerfully said, you cannot legislate love, then together we can, we will multiply our impact by increasing the affordable housing supply, by increasing incomes, assets, and knowledge, by increasing neighborhood connections, by increasing quality relationships between tenants and landlords, by decreasing the wealth gap, by decreasing the number of people at risk of eviction or foreclosure, by decreasing time spent in homelessness. The trend lines may be moving in different directions, but the important thing is that things are getting better all the time. Towards a community where homelessness is rare, where everyone has a place to call home that's safe, dry, and affordable. A community where the wealth gap between white and black or brown households is shrinking because families are able to own their own homes and pass it on to the next generation. A community where everyone is sharing an economic opportunity. That is what Tenfold's fighting for. I now present the story of the Eviction Prevention Network. The Eviction Prevention Network has been meeting every week as a true partnership for many months. That means it's the same message across the whole county, regardless of the size of the organization. Why does that matter? We can guide our clients better. We brainstorm solutions together. We grapple with the challenges and we share our successes truly together. While we knew that our clients were struggling financially and often were not able to pay their rent, we also knew that our landlords were facing similar struggles. Without getting steady rental payments, landlords are unable to pay the mortgages on their properties, pay their taxes and make needed repairs. That's why we focus on both sides of the landlord-tenant relationship in EPN. Programs that just work for the tenant will not fix the problem. We needed to find solutions that would both stabilize the tenant, but would also make landlords whole. Affordable housing is defined as spending less than 30% of your gross income on housing-related costs. 
For a renter, this includes their rent and utilities. While the salary a person makes should be able to cover basic necessities such as food, housing costs, healthcare, transportation, and other necessities, this is often not the reality for many people in our community. According to a Bloomberg article in 2019, prior to the pandemic, approximately 44% of 18 to 64 year olds were considered low wage workers struggling to make ends meet. COVID-19 accelerated this issue pushing hardworking people like Alex further into crisis. Alex is a single mom. She was working in the medical field. And because of COVID coming in, she felt uncomfortable working in that and possibly bringing that home to her five children. So on top of that, things got worse by when the schools closed. She ended up leaving her job and having to take care of her children. During that time, we were able to help her get different types of resources to be able to help support the rent costs and also pay some of the arrearages that were starting to build up. Another part of that process was to help her actually find a new job, which we were able to connect her with some of our partners in the community. She was able to get a new job and arrange childcare and since then, in the last few months, she's been able to support her rent on her own through the job that she has and be able to support being able to assist her children through this entire process. And slowly, she's getting back on her feet and becoming a successful renter again. Okay, so you just watched the Eviction Prevention Network video and you heard from Mike, and we want to thank Mike, by the way, for your recap of our very historic beginnings and our exciting vision for the future. We're very thankful for Mike's energy and leadership. I'm also proud to be on the board of Tenfold to add whatever I can, whenever I can. And most especially, we are so glad that you, our audience, our donors, and our partners are sharing this time with us tonight to see how we are stronger together and the tremendous impact that we can have and continue to have in our community. That video, by the way, you just watched there gave us insight into participants who are navigating many hardships in their journey forward. You can see how Tenfold is focused on empowering them to reach those goals. We still have many challenges ahead though, but working together in partnership with commitment to racial justice and fair housing, we can multiply our impact. We can make major differences. There's no question about that. This is daunting, but it's very exciting at the same time. So many different individuals and agencies coming together to expand our impact and sparking the power in all people. Shelby's here now, as you can see, going to give us a client perspective on how Tenfold empowers participants to reach their goal. Tenfold has a full continuum of services to meet our clients where they are at in their journey and to help them discover a new path forward. Shelby. Thank you, Brian. As I think about what's been impactful over the last year, Tenfold's focus on clients and how best to serve the community has been at the center of our work. The decision for the Lancaster Housing Opportunity Partnership and Tabor Community Services to come together was strategic because the issue of housing instability and the need for programs to help people build knowledge and skills to unlock their own future is key to a thriving community. We know that together we could serve not only more people, but serve them in a more holistic way, creating long-term sustainable change. So while merging two organizations during a, during a pandemic was not ideal, we embraced the opportunity to do more together. We transitioned to remote client services, util utilizing online platforms, technology, teamwork, and creativity. Our homeless outreach team continued to serve the most vulnerable and exposed in our community during the pandemic. Tenfold became a key partner in facilitating financial support through the rental relief program, eviction prevention funding, and now the emergency rental relief program. 
We also deployed a communication strategy, including online forums, a resource guide, social media, and ongoing media relations to ensure our community had access to resources. As we look forward to our work at Tenfold, empowerment is one of our core values, and it is the framework for how we will work with clients. This means we help our clients develop skills and introduce them to tools to allow them to unlock potential. This means we commit ourselves to listening to our clients and hearing what they want for their future. This means we myth bust, whether it's changing assumptions or understanding around the creation of affordable housing or coaching a client around the home buying process that they assumed was not within reach for them and their family. This means we meet people where they are and give them options for how they can choose to move forward. This is our approach with clients, ranging from people experiencing homelessness to clients exploring financial health and wealth building strategies. Now, it is with great pleasure that I get to give you a sneak, pre sneak preview of our premier video that captures the heart of Tenfold and our commitment to sparking the power in all people to achieve equitable housing and financial security. This video also features Fran, a client who has worked with both Tabor and LHOP in the past and who recently joined the Tenfold team. In this video, she shares her journey and how she fulfilled her dream of home ownership. Fran's extraordinary attitude, openness to learning and growing, desire to build wealth and stability for her two precious children, and her determination demonstrate the potential of our programs at Tenfold. Tabor and Elhop decided to join forces after recognizing that we were facing some of the same challenges. The biggest challenge was the affordable housing crisis here in South Central Pennsylvania. We knew that we were two strong organizations that could be even stronger if we combined forces and brought the collective expertise of our two teams together into one team. So we now call that team Tenfold. Tenfold has a continuum of services from homelessness to home ownership and also contributes to the supply of affordable housing as well. We are committed to sparking the power in all people to achieve financial security and equitable housing. We do this through four important ways, proactive education, coaching, lending, and advocacy. With those four tools in our toolbox, we are going to be the trusted community partner ensuring that the conversation around affordable housing and economic opportunity in our community changes for good. Our programs are set up to empower people to become the architect of a new path forward. At Tenfold, we believe housing is at the center of a thriving community. Affordable housing is an accelerator for our economy, contributes to diversity in our workforce and schools, closes the wealth gap, and expands affordable health care. We are committed to working with key community partners, including the Coalition for Sustainable Housing, to multiply our impact and develop innovative community solutions. When we work with our clients and connect them to resources, we see a spark of hope and dreams for a brighter future. Initially starting my home buying process, I was very skeptical of where my credit stood. So um, I had reached out to a uh, friend of ours that who does credit and we were able to go over a lot of programs that she was familiar with. And when she mentioned Tabor to be one, um, that was something that I was interested in. I was a little bit more familiar with Tabor. So I took myself in there. Starting the Match Savings Program, um, I was a little bit skeptical just because I, I didn't know much about it. I had to sit down with Diane and she went over all of the qualifications that I needed and told me that I was qualified from there. So there were two classes that were in the course for the Match Savings. It was a financial literacy class and I believe a credit class. Um, and I did take both of those classes, which <laughs> the benefits were amazing. I would say that um, it helped me a lot with the um, budgeting process of the home ownership and, and managing two kids, <laughs> food and everything else to keep, continue to keep going. I, I love those two programs, but besides that, I also did take the LHOP class, first time home buyer class, and that was an all day Saturday event. I wanna say within six months, I seen a huge turnaround on my credit. So that, with that alone, that made me feel that I was able to take the next step. I was continuing to work on uh, my collections and clearing that out. Once my collections were cleared out, I was pre-approved. That moment alone was 
amazing. Um, to, to feel that and know that I can do it on my own was something I never would have imagined um, doing. My mom is not a homeowner, um, so that wasn't something that I grew up knowing, but I knew I wanted it for my kids. Holding that soul sign was the best feeling that I've had in my 27 years, knowing that something is mine and something I can give to my children and generations. That was like my heart thumping out. When we walked in, I honestly, I broke down. I fell to my knees when I got into the house um, and I prayed to God. My kids said, mom, this is our home. Like, this is ours, yes, this is our home. With everything that I have gained in knowledge with this process of home buying, um, I was able to not only budget better, <laughs> manage better, um, I was also able to take my education and extend that. So with that, I was given a position at uh, Tabor and I am part of the Eviction Prevention Network. And we are helping people within Lancaster who are struggling with their current rent due to COVID um, and utilities. Um, we are just looking to make a difference within those who need the help. Together, we will be the trusted community partner advancing these important issues for our community. What a great heartwarming video that was, wasn't it? What a great sneak preview of what's to come and definitely worth watching again if you have the chance. In fact, speaking of which, we look forward to seeing that video featured on Tenfold's new website and social media platforms that are launching this coming June. In the meantime, if you would like to share with your family and friends so they can learn more about Tenfold and the great things that are done in the community, we have added a link to that video in our event chat that's going on right now. Tonight, you have had the opportunity to learn more about our Tenfold story and how each and every single one of us can play an active role in supporting the next chapter to spark the power in all people to achieve equitable housing and financial security in our community. Now, as a reminder, there are a variety of great ways that you can get involved. You can check out our event chat or the website at tabernet.org to access the resources, upcoming events, and various ways to donate. Are you interested in multiplying your impact? Who wouldn't be? Consider giving a donation in the form of a monthly gift. It goes a long, long way. Were you moved by Grace Wenger's No Room in Lancaster article that Mike told us about? Become a member of the Grace Wenger Society by giving a legacy gift. Are you interested in bidding on items in our silent auction? Well, there's still time, and there's a lot of great items in that auction, trust me. The auction will run until tomorrow at 8 p.m., and there's some great deals in there right now, even as we speak, so check it out. The auction, by the way, features a hot air balloon ride, some beautiful original art and photography, landscaping services, hotel stays, a suite at Clipper Magazine Stadium, gift certificates to stores, restaurants, and a whole lot more. So check it out. Please do so. Please know that we are grateful, very, very grateful for your support, which will help us increase the impact of Tenfold as we move forward together to provide a continuum of services to address the wide range of critical housing needs within our greater community. Once again, I thank you. We thank you for being with us tonight. As we close out our time together this evening, we'll leave you with our good friend, Matt Wheeler, who will sing Alleluia while we share the many faces of Tenfold who have had the opportunity to achieve a brighter future because of your support. Have a good evening. Thank you, and peace be with you. Heard there was a secret chord David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do you? Goes like this, the fourth, the fifth The minor fall and the major lift The baffled king composing Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If 
faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty and the moonlight over through you. She tied you to a kitchen chair. She broke your throne, she cut your hair. From your lips she drew the hallelujah. 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 Maybe I've been before I know this room and I've walked this floor I used to live alone before I knew you seen your flag on the marble arch love is not some victory march it's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I did my best, it wasn't much. Couldn't feel, so I tried to touch. I told the truth, I didn't come to fool you. Even though it all went wrong, I'll stand before the Lord a song with nothing on my tongue but hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah.